Hi guys, so Boris Johnson was asked a very simple question by Labour MP Sarah Champion. How do you sleep at night? Now she was challenging the Prime Minister to deal with the cost of a living crisis and not jump to excuses like the war in Ukraine or the pandemic. But of course Boris Johnson came up with his excuses and he trotted out the tired old Tory mantra which demonstrates his complete disconnect from reality. Instead of dealing with this cost of living crisis, the government, of course, as always, offload responsibility onto the public. Have a listen to this. Prime Minister, every day I hear from more and more of my Rotherham constituents who are struggling to put food on the table to keep their lights on, to fuel their cars. The Office for Budget Responsibility estimates the government's measures will only offset falling living standards by a third. This is the biggest financial squeeze since the 1950s. Yeah. Yes. Prime Minister, don't blame Ukraine. Don't blame Covid. This is down to your government's policies and your political choices. Sleep at night. Well, I, 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 I do agree that uh, people are facing a very tough time at the moment. And uh, it, we've, we've got to do everything that we can. I don't agree with her analysis. But I think that the causes are certainly to do with the, the, the uh, inflationary impact of the world coming out of, of COVID and the energy price spike is, 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 is at the root of it. Um, yes, but you have the tools to deal with it. You have the ability to ease that stress and strain. You, your friend there, the Chancellor, has just introduced a loan for people to take out that they don't actually have a choice in. They have to take out this loan instead of actually turning it into a grant that would actually help people. And he was talking about how it's not a loan, but they still have to pay it back. This is not helping people. And, and what we are doing, uh, Mr Speaker, is to uh, help people with a universal credit, which we've lifted by a thousand pounds. What? You haven't lifted universal credit. Now, unless he's talking about something that I haven't seen, people on universal credit since this mini budget have been abandoned. People on legacy uh, benefits have also been abandoned. What is Boris Johnson talking about here? Is he lying once again? If he's not lying, then I'll correct the record, unlike Boris Johnson. But this is the first I've heard about helping people on universal credit since uh, this mini budget by Rishi Sunak. Help people with uh, the living wage, uh, which is going up now by a record amount, Mr. Speaker, and, and cutting taxes on, on, on working people in the way that in the way that we are. No, you've raised taxes on working people. The national insurance contribution is going up. People are going to be worse off, and even if you were cutting taxes, the cost of living is going to eliminate any benefits that uh, that people will see. Now, some people will see a, re a reduction in their in their taxes, but the cost of living is going to wipe that completely out. So you're not really helping people. Uh, but of course, we can't uh, do everything, uh, Mr. Speaker, right now. And uh, what we will do uh, is ensure that we have a stronger economic uh, performance and we have people in work. And the most important thing is that we have uh, people getting into work now in a way that wasn't possible, certainly wouldn't have been possible if we'd stuck to the, uh, the policies that were proposed uh, by, by the Labour opposition. Uh, <laughs> what is he talking about? People wouldn't have been able to get back into work if the Labour Party were in power? This is absolutely absurd. And that's why we have a strong economy. Uh, and, that's, and that is the best recipe. Better to be off benefits and into work. And that's what we're doing. The economy, he's saying about how the economy is getting stronger, but the number of people on f relying on food banks is increasing. People are worse off. The, the lady, the Labour MP raised it that this is the worst cost of living crisis since the 1950s and Boris Johnson's talking about how the the economy is improving. Well, if the economy is improving, then how come people's lives are not improving? And this old mantra of, we'll just get people back into work, get people off benefits and into work, that's that's the, the panacea. But there are people who are working numerous jobs and relying on universal credit and food banks. 
How is that a success? How is that actually helping people? You're not helping people. You're making life more difficult. You have the ability to tax these energy companies. You're not doing that. You have the ability to provide extra benefits to people, extra support, and you're not doing it either. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.